Welcome to Striking Options, the show that reveals the options you have to better navigate markets. I'm Jeff Kilberg, and I'm joined today by Scott Bauer. Hey there, Scott. Jeff, how are you? I'm doing great. Well, it's interesting to see trade tensions have certainly escalated, and we witnessed one of the most severe sell-offs of 2019. So my question to you, Scott, is can markets recover? Yeah, they absolutely can. You know, does, does it mean they're going to recover today, tomorrow? Probably not, but can they? Absolutely. Well, it's interesting. Are we going to see this prolong? Is it going to have to get to the G20 meeting all the way out in June, or is it going to be some type of shorter-term resolution? You know, you've got six weeks out to there, and I, I think we will see some sort of resolution. But as you know, Jeff, the market just doesn't like uncertainty, and that's what we've seen. Fair enough. All right, Scott, let's get this first lightning round. Are you ready? Right. Yeah, let's do it. Buying opportunity. Well, it is interesting to see that even the S&P 500 or even the NASDAQ 100, we saw just a big sell-off, a lot of emotion in the market. But when you see this type of emotion in the market, it also presents opportunity, correct? Oh, no doubt about it. Just, just like we just said, there, there's typically that emotion that brings volatility to the marketplace. That does mean opportunity. And a way to approach this would be by selling an end of month, that's May 31st expiration, 2750, 2700 put spread. And this spread can allow an investor to collect $375, Jeff. Well, that's interesting. We talk here a lot on striking options about the reason, the rationale, why to buy a put spread, why to sell a put spread. Let's drill in a little bit. Why are you selling this put spread? Is it due to the fact that premiums are a little bit higher and elevated than usual? Yeah, that's exactly right. So you talk about risk skew or skew in the markets, and the put side of that is definitely more expensive than calls right now, adds premium, and allows an investor to collect more money. So simplistically, more buyers of puts put in a little bit higher premium. Therefore, you want to sell that premium both hands out. And it's yep. interesting, the June S&P 500 future, we're trading around 2833 when this trade example is priced out. But the add the money volatility, we talk a lot about it here on Striking Options, over 17. That's pretty expensive, and that is really the timing for this type of opportunity. Great stuff, Scott. And please remember that these are trade examples, not trade recommendations. Let's move into the second lightning round, pal. All right, let's do it. Tech sector. While we saw one of the biggest move down in this tech sector since December 4th, you saw the NASDAQ 100, a lot of sellers. Maybe it was a rebalance of some positions, but the tech sector, by and large, is still the leading sector in the S&P 500, correct? It, it absolutely is. And yes, it got hit with the overall market here, but I, I really think there's some opportunity there. Well, speaking of opportunity, I get really excited about the micros. Look at the micro E-mini NASDAQ futures. We talk about the reason why to use micros versus just the E-mini NASDAQ, but I want to be a buyer of 10 micro E-mini NASDAQ futures at 7,300. We talk about the market moving. We talk about a tweet moving in the market, but having these micros on allows me to scale out of a position. And more importantly, Scott, I want to talk about how to use this to get long exposure. We talk about risk mitigation, utilizing futures to, to mitigate the downside, but here I want to establish a position to get additional long exposure to the NASDAQ 100. Right, and, and these micros at a 10 to 1 ratio here, like you said, Jeff, you can scale in and out at a certain price, scale out at a different time. That's the beauty, that's the flexibility of this product. And for this specific trade example, if we look at being a buyer at the 7300 level, I would place one micro E-mini NASDAQ future at 7350, 7400, 7450, every 50 handles in the NASDAQ 100, I want to scale out this position because we're going to see continued volatility. I think that is for certain, Scott, as we see these trade tensions conversations or these trade wars we're talking about deal out. Absolutely. And like you said, it, all it takes is, is a tweet or another meeting that we see. And, and you know, with, with people seeing things in real time, the market certainly reacts to that. All right, Scott, I want to thank you as always for coming on Striking Options. And please tune in every week as we will continue to strike options.